I can't take this anymore. I can't. These voices are ruining my life! It does seem to be getting worse. James, have you ever considered that maybe the voices are right? What are you saying? James, have you ever considered killing yourself? That was my life before I met Dr. Hawker. I have a case for you. This is my, well, this was my daughter, Lilia. She was murdered. Somebody killed my little girl and... And the police just gave up after three months. You just want me to find out who did it. So I can kill the bastard myself. I'll find him, but anything after that is not my job description. Just give me a face and an address. Well, I guess I'll take your case. Mr. John McMurray. Die. Die. Kill yourself. <laughs> Kill yourself. Ah, what? How did you... Because, James, I really need you to... Stop! How do you even know my name? Wait, don't tell me. Don't tell me. Just leave me alone. Shh. Be quiet. You look crazy. You think I don't know how this looks? I'm talking to a petunia! Oh. James, I don't know how to say this, but you're the chosen one. Oh, I'm so flattered right now. Now, will you go away? No. <sighs> Fine. Then, will you just explain to me why I'm the chosen one? We need you to commit suicide in order to save the world. What? Why? How does my suicide save the world? I don't have time to explain things, James, but it's the only way. Well, what if I didn't want to kill myself? Don't I have a say? I'm afraid not. Well, then you leave me no choice. James, don't do anything stupid. I'm not going to kill myself because a plant told me to! As the investigation into Jimmy's murder picks up, his friends are surprised to see just how much Bobby is comforting the grieving widow. Shelley took Bobby with her to make arrangements for a memorial service for Jimmy in Morgantown. It's certainly nice that you have a support system. And while they were talking to the pastor, Bobby and Shelley were holding hands, and the pastor was very alarmed. He thought there was something wrong. Eventually, he wrote to the police and said, you know, they, they seem more like lovers than friends. Hey, buddy. What the? Who the hell are you? James, you know who I am. If you really want us to go away, all you have to do is kill yourself. Besides, you don't have anything to live for. Hey, I've got plenty to live for. Yeah, like what? My kids. You don't have kids. Not my kids' kids, my, my students. You teach high school psychology. Those kids aren't going to miss you. My co-workers will miss me. Besides your boss, tell me the first name of one of your co-workers. Phil. Which one is he? The tall guy. 
Oh man, that's so sad. Hey, don't you judge me. You're not even a real person. You know who you are? No. You know what you are? You are nothing but the lingering after effects of a misfiring neural connector. James, is everything all right? Yeah. You're very late and very dirty. I'm fine. It's just been uh, kind of a rough morning. <laughs> OK, well, just make sure you call ahead next time you're running late. All right, James, look, I'm not going to argue with you anymore. Look, stop. Just stop, all right? Go bother someone else with all this chosen one bullshit. It's time for you to die. Go away! Oh.